In this video, I'm going to attempt to demystify this lumbosacral plexus. If your professor requires that you know the nerve root levels for each nerve, you'll see that you can often use this drawing to trace each nerve back to its origin to figure out the nerve root levels. Are you ready to get started? If you're required to know the nerve root levels, you can use this picture to help you remember the levels for each nerve. This first nerve, the iliohypogastric nerve, you can see it originates from T12 and L1. This nerve, the ilioinguinal nerve, comes straight from L1. If we trace L1 to where it hooks up with L2, we have the genitofemoral nerve. Lateral femoral cutaneous comes from L2 and L3 and runs behind the plexus, hence the dotted line. When we look at the obturator nerve, we can trace it from L2, L3, and L4. The femoral nerve also comes from L2, L3, and L4. Now the saphenous nerve comes from L3 and L4 only. Down here, the superior gluteal nerve, it comes from L4, L5, and S1. We draw the slopes to indicate the direction the fibers are running toward the nerve that they're creating. The inferior gluteal nerve will come from L5, S1, and S2. The sciatic nerve, on the other hand, comes from L4, L5, S1, S2, and S3. The tibial nerve, much like the sciatic nerve, comes from L4, L5, S1, S2, and S3. The common fibular nerve, however, comes from only L4, L5, S1, and S2. The posterior femoral cutaneous nerve originates from S1, S2, and S3, as you can see. And finally, the pudendal nerve we can see comes from S2, S3, and S4. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider clicking like and subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to turn on notifications to get alerted to all my latest videos. For more helpful anatomy and physiology study resources, visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.